A driver is one of the most technologically advanced and highly engineered pieces of sporting equipment in the world, but it can be better. Everyone knows the modern driver head is big. All that volume can increase aerodynamic drag and decrease club head speed, which is why we've been studying aerodynamics at Callaway for quite some time. But we knew if we were going to take the next big leap, we needed to partner with engineers who studied aerodynamics full time, the best of the best. When an opportunity like Callaway comes up, Boeing likes to give new engineers a chance to apply their expertise outside their field. In golf, aerodynamics is crucial because swing speed translates directly into distance. A professional golfer swings around 120 miles per hour. During a swing, the airflow can have two different states. The first is laminar flow. It's the smooth flow that is desirable for an aircraft. The second is turbulent flow. It's chaotic with a lot of mixing. While we try to minimize turbulent flow on a plane, it can actually be helpful for an object like a golf club. The reason? During a downswing, airflow separates from the club head. This creates a wake behind the club, causing drag. But with turbulent flow, air ends up sticking to the head. The wake is minimized, thus less drag. We use this phenomena to our advantage. Using Boeing's highly advanced modeling software, we pinpointed exactly where the most drag occurs during the swing. Knowing that, we put a trigger on the crown of the club that changes the airflow from laminar to turbulent at just the right point in the swing. We refer to this as tripping the flow. It's just a fraction of a second, but that's enough to give golfers greater head speed. That translates to more yardage per shot and better results on the course. Sometimes in engineering, the changes you make look small, but the results are game-changing. <laughs>